Software vendors can node lock their licensed applications to a device using License Spring's Entitlement Management Solution. They can achieve this by defining the number of allowed activations as well as configuring controls around license transfers. The mechanism for node locking licenses is pretty straightforward. When creating license entitlements, the software vendor specifies the number of devices that are allowed to activate a license. The term activation here means the process of binding a license to a device. If, for example, a license key was issued for a given software product with a max activation of one, that means only one computer or device can use that license until it has been unbound or deactivated from that device. As part of the account setup, a software vendor would have imported the appropriate license SDK or implemented the license API into the applications that they distribute. There is an equivalent activate license method in all of these interfaces which require the input of three fields at a minimum. The license authorization, either key or user based, the product code, and a device fingerprint, also known as a hardware ID. This fingerprint is used to recognize distinct devices. Our SDKs compute this hardware ID automatically, but it can also be overridden or edited by the software vendor. Upon successful activation, the license will be node locked to that device. Only the device with that fingerprint can perform license checks. Activation will also increment the total number of activations against the maximum number of activations allowed for a given license. The profile of that device will appear on the license detail page within the vendor platform. The vendor can then reset the license on that device, which in turn would decrement the total activations and free the license up to be used on another device. License Spring also provides the ability to node lock licenses on devices that do not have access to the internet, so be sure to watch the video on offline activation if you are interested in that topic. Lastly. Be sure to contact our support team if you are interested in binding your application to an instance within a virtualized machine or a containerized environment such as Docker or a pod within Kubernetes, as we also provide solutions for those.